about Miss Lucille Tenasas. Miss Tenasas is a graphic designer and has been practicing for more than 35 years. Her main focus of graphic design is typography. Miss Tenasas was born in the Philippines on December 17, 1953. As an adolescent, Miss Tenasas studied in Manila, where she became very familiar with the calligraphic ways. She moved to the United States and earned her degree from what was then known as the California College of Arts. Tenasas has always been artistic, from drawing to painting to calligraphy. Back home in 1975, she got her BFA in advertising. After repeatedly being rejected from Cranbrook, she enrolled at CCA. Only after she left for California and made a new portfolio, Cranbrook then accepted her on the spot. Being at Cranbrook really drove Tenasos. After her time at Cranbrook, she moved back to San Francisco, and only shortly after, her and her family left San Francisco for Italy for her husband's fellowship in Rome. After his fellowship, Tenasos made her way to New York, where she now teaches at Parsons, the new school for design. Ms. Tenasas has won many achievements. A few are the one she won in 2002. She won the National Design Award for the Communication Design by Cooper Hewitt National Design Museum. In 2013, she won the AIG Medal for the Lifetime Achievement in Graphic Design by the American Institute of Graphic Design, which is one of the highest honors anyone can get. Currently, Ms. Tenasas is the owner of Tenasas Designs, and she is also Parsons School of Design Henry Wolf Professor and the Dean of the School of Art, Media, and Technology. Her works have been displayed all over internationally and some works are in the museum and exhibitions at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art and the Cooper Hewitt National Design Museum. To name a few of Tenasa's clients, there have been the Design Arts Program of the NEA, Dwell Magazine, Gallery for German and Austrian Art, Princeton Architectural Press, San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, Stanford University Art Museum, San Francisco International Airport, and the Redevelopment Agency of San Francisco. Although Tenessas has many beautiful pieces, these are only a few that I've picked out to look at. Not only is the typography eye-catching, but so are the layouts as well as the color themes. This work created by Tenasas was created for Berry Drugs in 1981. It was designed while enrolled at Cranbrook, and this was a street sign project that she had while interpreting the urban and consumer visual landscapes by combining image and type as graphic narratives. This is another one of Tenasas' famous works. It's one of the letterhead works for the Moto Development Group that was created in 1993. This work by Tenasa is called The Body, Photographs of the Human Form. It was created in 1995 and is a part of the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. This work is a lot different than her typical artwork of typography. My analysis of Tenasa's work varies because her types of work varies. In her work, I see a lot of graphic movement in the way she scatters out her letters. Her work reminds me of many things. Some works remind me of an eye exam chart and how you look for the letters. Other works remind me of an algebraic problem as how they're spaced out. From the different styles of letters, and the different sizes of fonts, Tenasso's work is easily spotted. Also, her play on color really adds contrast and makes her work even more eye-catching. Now, I'm not too familiar with the programs used to create graphic design, 
so I wanted to create my riffraff and pay homage to Tenasa's in the artistic way I know. In this remake of her aftertaste work, I used my own Copic markers and created a fun Texas Tech design. I found this piece to be a lot of fun. The letters are in no specific place, yet you can still easily make out what the words are. I also love her color palette. You have a soft background and a vibrant text. I will say that this one may seem easy to duplicate, but by hand it was pretty difficult. After learning more about Tenasa's and the work she does, I have a real appreciation for her work. Not only does she create messages, logos, and templates for herself and her clients, she has fun doing it and it shows. Each piece of hers is interesting to say the least. The eye is never bored while viewing her work. She is definitely one insistent typographer. Not only was I inspired by Miss Tenasa's, I definitely enjoyed her work. Thank you for watching my video. Below are the references that I used to help gain knowledge of Ms. Lucille Tanasis.